in this video, I'm going to be showcasing some crazy gimmick puppet combos that you guys need to know, especially with the release of Infinite Forbidden. Now, before we start the video, guys, go ahead and leave a like, comment what you guys want to see next, and of course, subscribe if you have not already. We're pushing out content daily, guys. And of course, hit the notification bell right there, guys. Check out all my socials down below as well. I'm super active on my Twitter, guys, so go ahead and follow me on that. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, now we are quickly getting into the combo tutorial. So again, um, a lot of this deck is one to two card combos, and that's how it FTK. So it's very, very worrisome and very scary. But starting off, guys, we will be activating the field spell. Now, the field spell is absolutely cracked, like ridiculous. Um, I don't know why Konami just keeps printing these broken fields. So on activation, it adds a gimmick puppet monster from your deck to your hand. And then it also says gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, they're unaffected by your opponent's activated non-XYZ monster effect. They're still affected um, by, like, um imperm dominus purge things of that nature but again regular hand traps just won't work and then once returned detach one machine from a monster you control target one game put monster in your gave and summon it so again you have to have the target but it's pretty good so we will use this this will go ahead and grab us our little soldiers little soldiers on summon go ahead and send any game puppet then change this card's level to it and then you can banish it target up to two game pup monsters you control and increase their levels by four so we will go ahead and normal little soldier soldiers effect we'll go ahead and send out our bloody doll um, I believe the TCG name is uh, Rouge Doll. So Bloody Doll's effect is once you send to the graveyard, you can add her back to the hand. And then she has a hand effect where it essentially says, let's add this to the hand. You can reveal herself and then an XYZ monster and then summon herself and another um, a monster with the same level as like the rank of the XYZ. So we use Bloody Doll, reveal Bloody Doll, reveal a rank 8, and then go ahead and summon her out. Plus summon out the Cattle Scream. So now Cattle Scream is pretty good. Cattle Scream just has like a regular thing where it's like um, blah, blah, whatever. Um, and then it also says, um, wait, where is it? Um, once returned, you can target one monster upon graveyard by summon blah, blah. blah. But it also has the effect where you can attach one material from this card and then special on this card from a hand or graveyard. So absolutely really, really good um, XYZ um, support. From here, we overlay because, again, Little Soldier ascends and becomes a level. So we go into our Fantasix Machina. So detach one, you get a rank up, and then you get an additional normal summon, which is very important. And then um, if a game pop monster is a special summon on your field, you can summon it and then add a rank up spell from your graveyard. So it's really good in that regard. So we use this, summon a uh, Machina X or whatever, um, detach Cow Scream. This will add us our rank up. And then from here, guys, what we can do is we can go ahead and activate rank up, target out our Machina, and then go into our Gimme Puppet of Dark Strings. As I said, this your special summon destroys as many cards as possible, and if you do destroy, blah, blah, whatever. Once you turn to detach one, place a strength counter on each face-up monster your opponent controls. So from here, we rank up. Then we go ahead and detach, summon out the Cattle Scream. Then we go ahead from here, we overlay into our Gimme Puppet of Strings. This will trigger our Machina X in the Grave. Um, <coughs> or sorry, this will trigger our Chaos Force to add back. Then we use Strings to place strength counters on all the monsters on the field. Then we can go ahead and use rank up to rank up our strings into our game puppet of dark strings. This will trigger on summon to go ahead and pop. Um, again, I miss late, I miss click, I spam click, but um, this will go ahead and summon. So then it'll trigger if this can summon destroy as many pop monsters, and then inflict damage upon equal to the highest original attack amongst them. Um, and then um, also if you destroy, you draw a card, right? So we will summon this, we will go ahead and pop. Um, so it'll be chain link one, chain link two. It doesn't really matter the order because this only pops monsters with string counters, and when Machinex comes back, it won't have string counters. So don't worry about that too much, but it'll pop and then we go ahead and summon and then we go ahead and add back the rank of spell and again we also draw like off this effect and then we can use uh, mansion detach and reborn so we can reborn anything so we go ahead and reborn out our game puppet of dark strings and then we give to our opponent now you can use rank up rank up into the um cxyz um thank so i guess the chaos version of it i'm not gonna call it the end i think so on summon we go ahead and grab us our game puppet trap card which is service puppet it's pretty good target monster opponent controls up to the number of game puppets and take control of them until the end phase if you control and this card you can banish card from gave it target one xyz monster and special so like if we mess up the ftk we still have like an in um engine interrupt um and then this is the card that you're supposed to draw off of the pop so from here we go ahead and now we can use the Machina X, go ahead and detach and then summon a monster to our opponent's side of the field. And then we can go ahead and link these two monsters away into our game puppet Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll basically lets us during the turns link summon, add one, and then we can summon one from hand if you already have it. So we get the Terrorist Baby. Then we can go ahead and normal summon Terrorist Baby to go ahead and essentially it says when it's normal summon, you can take one game puppet monster and special summon it. You can banish card, your opponent cannot activate in, in response, blah, blah, whatever. So from here we go this, this reborn out Cow Scream. Then we banish the little soldiers to target the Terrorist Baby to make it a level eight then overlay these two into our giant grinder giant grinder says this twice return detach one material from this card try one special monster your opponent controls and destroy it 
and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack if it was an XYZ monster. So we can go right here, detach, pop, and then we burn for like 3k, and then detach, pop, we burn for the final 3k. So that was it for the first FDK combo. Now let's get into the second one. All right, guys, now we are getting on to the second FDK combo. In my opinion, I kind of like the second version more than the first version. I feel like the first version, you kind of do like unnecessary steps. So that was like the first iteration. Now this is the second iteration, in my opinion, the better one. So again, we activate field spell. Field spell, go ahead, always add us our little soldiers. And then from here, we can go ahead and normal summon our toy soldiers um, to go ahead and dump the Rouge Doll, Blade Doll. Now Blade Doll will trigger to come back into our hand. Then we can use Blade Doll's effect here. Again, like I said before, just reveal um, any XYZ monster and then summon herself out. Summon out the Cow Scream. Like this is kind of like the quote unquote like streamline play, right? You're always going to be going Little Soldier, Rouge Doll, Rouge Doll, Reveal, Cow Scream, right? Because Cow Scream is like a free body. So from here, we're going overlay into our Machinex um or whatever fantasy six machina or whatever and we detach to get the argent chaos for so again always detach the cattle scream then here we can do is we can go ahead and rank up and it right away so we can rank up into our machina machina go ahead and add us our service puppet also one thing notice like we don't care about it because it says they're unaffected by non xyz monster effect so um we don't really care about that but from here we can go ahead and use that then from here we can go ahead and detach to summon out our cattle scream and then we can overlay here into our game puppet of strings and then from here we can go ahead and use our chaos force because we link summon or xyz summon like a rank eight or higher rank five or higher sorry so it comes back into our hand from here we can go ahead and detach play string counters then we can go ahead and use his effect detach summon a monster to our opponent's side of the field from here what we can do is we can go ahead and activate our chaos force to rank up into our game puppet of dark strings now we can use dark strings effect to go ahead and pop so chain like one chain like two again like said for order does not matter because it has nothing on it um so it's gonna be pretty good in that regard i'm just gonna double check one thing to see if i messed up um okay yeah so whatever and then from here we can go ahead and use to get our chaos force back pop inflict 3100 to our opponent and we draw a card which is really good from here what we can do is we can go ahead and use it detach to put mon counters on our mo opponent's monsters equal to everything that it kind of has things of that nature so we go ahead and put a counter on there and then we can go ahead and rank up into another puppet of dark strings use puppets effect to pop the cow scream and burn for 2000 then we also draw a card right there which is really good and then here guys what we can do is we can go ahead and activate the mansion of the underworld dogs or whatever you want to call it to detach to summon to our opponent's side of the field and then we can go ahead and use this to detach to go ahead and link away into our chimera doll from here guys what we can do is we can go and use chimera doll effect grab us our terror baby then from here we can go ahead and normal some terror baby and again but as soon as we already have this sign up like we can do the ftk and you guys have seen how the ftk works so terror baby summon out anything and then this card says if this card is special, I'm going to destroy as many monsters. And if you do draw cards, so um, we we get the FTK and we draw three cards. It's pretty nasty, like even though that's like our third draw. But it's really good in that regard, like especially if you don't want to go through to the giant grinder and things of that nature. So in my opinion, this is kind of the better combo because it's like it's a little more streamlined. It's it's more proper. You're drawing more cards as you play um, where the other one is kind of like really janky. So um, that's it for the second combo, guys. Now let's get on to the third combo. All right, guys, now we are getting on to the third and final combo. Now, this is going to be um, giving puppet little soldiers plus any um, level eight giving puppet monster. It can literally be anything. So that's what makes this FTK like really crazy. Because like, yes, the field spell is really good because it prevents our opponent from hand trapping. But like, let's say, for example, our opponent's like, oh, I'm just going to put in like whatever, whatever random crap. So um, we still have the FTK reg regardless. But like, I mean, the field spell is really nice, right? But from here, we can go ahead and normal summon little soldiers. Soldiers effect, like I said before, it's going to dump the Rouge Doll, Bloody Doll to hand. And we can use Bloody Doll's effect, reveal herself, uh, reveal anything like I said for summon herself cattle scream from here we can go ahead and overlay into our machina machina effect detach get the rank up from here what we can do is we can go ahead and um activate rank up go into machina so like i said for in my opinion these are the better steps um especially because i think it's like one two three four um i think this is the fifth summon so like we still have the um service puppet like worst case scenario if we do end up getting nibbed or things of that nature and then we still have like cattle scream and everything so from here we go ahead and overlay into strings because we xyz summon a rank five or higher monster we can get the chaos force detach strings place it on him detach to go ahead and summon up the cow scream and then give it to our opponent and then here we can go ahead and activate the chaos force into gaming puppet of dark strings dark strings effect will go ahead and trigger to pop so chain like one chain like two so pop um and then add back so we will pop here draw a card and then inflict 3100 um, which is really good then here what we can do is we can go ahead and use this effect to go ahead and link summon away into i don't know why i keep saying use effect we go ahead and link summon into our chimera doll um we just use this effect to place the string counters right um where is it blah blah whatever once we turn detach one place string counter so um we just said to i don't know why i keep saying use effect but we get chimera doll chimera doll effect go ahead and grab us our terrorist baby so from here um this is the thing i was saying where it's important because it says 
Um, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon from the extra except machines. And then it says add to your hand. Then if all monsters you control are game puppet minimum one, you can special summon one game puppet monster from your hand. So that's what saying that it doesn't matter what um, level monster it is, or it could be like any of the really crappy ones as well. So from here, we can go ahead and just summon up the best doll to our field um, off its effect. So it adds and summons, which is really good. Um, and then from here, we can go ahead and normal summon, get the additional normal off of our Machin X. And then this will get our Terror Baby to go ahead and summon out our Dark Strings. Use Dark Strings effect, pop. I don't take the 2000 here, but you should be taking the 2000 and, and I showcase it later on. Um, so we do the 2000 and then from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and use Little Soldiers. Little Soldiers turn Terrace Baby into a level eight and then link into Giving Puppet of Strings. And then from here, we can go ahead and use Strings to place the String Counters onto our guys. Then we can use Chaos Force to rank up into the the third and final or second i thought this was okay into the second whatever into the second game puppet of dark strings now use dark strings effect um it destroys all monsters and then inflicts for the highest attack right here so inflicts for the highest attack um but it doesn't matter because like we pop for 30 and then we draw a card um i was trying to like figure out where like i was missing the damage but it was basically 2000 from the cattle right so that is it for the second uh, or third combo right where it's a two card combo you guys can see that this deck is very very consistent if it opens the field spell it's literally ftking you like no matter what so it gets kind of nasty in that regard but if you guys want to see more videos leave a like comment subscribe of course guys my name is Hums, and like i always say keep on shining and never give on your dreams peace <laughs>